don't know. Jimmy Fallon doesn't know. David Letterman doesn't know. Well, we don't know. All the comics and show business don't know what this is. <laughs> right? Yeah. What is it? Come on, Jimmy. Seriously, the time is up. People are hip to this kind of stuff. I, I'm here tonight to blow the lid off it, to be the whistleblower. I'm sick and tired of the secrets and the lies. It is the secret symbol of the Luminati, and you're a part of it, and it is it, the all-mocking tongue. Oh. Oprah Winfrey goes nuclear as Jim Carrey exposes her evil agenda. Actor and comedian Jim Carrey has been vocal about what he sees as the darker side of Hollywood, including his critiques of Oprah Winfrey. Carrey has publicly spoken out against what he describes as the evil agenda in the entertainment industry, suggesting that many of the industry's most beloved figures are not as benevolent as they seem. For years now, Talk show hosts, people on television, people in sitcoms have been hired by the government to <laughs> throw you off the track, to distract you, to make you laugh and stuff like that, make you happy and docile so you don't know what's really going on, you know? And they get out there in the woods in a circle naked and they decide these things and, you know, <clears throat> and. Yeah, look at him, look at him. His comments have added fuel to the ongoing debate about the true nature of Hollywood's elites, with some interpreting his statements as a brave stand against a corrupt system. I felt like Hollywood is just spineless, en masse. And uh, it just, it really felt like, oh, this is a really clear indication that uh, we're not the cool club anymore. Carey has spoken out on numerous occasions about the propaganda that he believes is rampant within the industry. He suggests that Hollywood operates under a veneer of glamour and success, while underneath it is rife with manipulation, control and moral decay. I don't want to hold up this, this avatar that you've created mm -hmm. in the world. It's too much for me, right. you know? And uh, so a friend of mine who's a spiritual teacher has a really good take. His name is Jeff Foster. and. He, uh, his take on it is that uh, they should change, you know, you should think of the word as de of depressed, as, uh, sorry, of depressed as deep rest. Mm -hmm. Deep rest, your body needs to be depressed. Mm -hmm. It needs deep rest from the character that you've been trying to play. According to Carrie, the entertainment industry not only perpetuates harmful stereotypes and societal norms, but also engages in deceptive practices that maintain the power of a select few at the expense of others. Its worst evils, hatred of immigrants, contempt for the truth, greed, and the abuse of power. We are fighting those same evils today. In America, in the United Kingdom, across the globe. And we need to be clear, shamelessness is not and will never be a superpower. <laughs> it is the mark of a villain Kidnapping children is not what great nations do. Recently, there have been rumors about a TikToker who faced a tragic incident after allegedly exposing Oprah Winfrey and Diddy on the platform. While details remain scarce, the story has circulated widely on social media, with some users speculating that this incident is further evidence of the lengths to which powerful elites will go to silence their critics. As far as finding out what's going on with Epstein and still covering this Diddy stuff. But my whole thing is like, I mean, this video was uploaded um, two days ago. So I don't know if anything has came out about her. Um, about the Ky Kylie. So my whole thing is like, if there was some weird shadiness going on with her channel, her page, um, and we've all, I can guarantee you, almost every person that do YouTube or any type of videos have experienced some type of weirdness going on. Talk about the truth. It's like they don't want it out. But my whole thing is like, I don't know if her family, if they even will, if anybody will even say anything, but to me, that sounds pretty crazy. You know, that sounds pretty crazy. Uh, 36, I mean, 
you know, people, people passed away even younger than her. There is a widely held belief that Hollywood's most powerful elites go to great lengths to protect themselves from exposure. This is evident in the case of Harvey Weinstein, whose predatory behavior was an open secret in Hollywood for years before it was publicly exposed. Despite his close relationship with Oprah Winfrey, her public distancing from him only occurred after his crimes became widely known, leading some to question how much she knew beforehand. If you're in Hollywood and you knew who Harvey was, you knew that this is what he does, but they all kept quiet out of fear of losing their jobs or losing positions and roles. But, okay, you keep quiet, but you stay out of his way. These people that I don't understand, because maybe I'm not getting how things work, or maybe because I grew up in Africa or something, because if... Are you the kind of person, if you know this person is a killer or takes fingers, let's just make it this way, takes fingers. Ah, the man at number 10, he ain't ten, any woman that goes into her house, her, her pinky finger is missing. I remember Monique's insisting, saying that she was going to be paid. That is so, um, I don't know where this whole family making it seem like, oh, she's a family woman, she doesn't want to go anywhere. Monique said, if you're going to take me out, travel from place to place to place, my entourage and I, you have to be paid. You can't just tell me to pop up. Who's going to do all that? You know, hotels, who's going to pay for that? Flying from place to place. And they said, no, she isn't going to do that. And they got angry because, you know, Oprah was like, are you refusing me? That's what Monique said. This is Monique's site, allegedly. Let me add that right now. The Umar Johnson, a prominent social commentator, has spoken out on platforms like The Art of Dialogue, suggesting that many allegations against Hollywood elites are not baseless. He claims that the industry operates with a level of secrecy and corruption that shields powerful figures from accountability. You can't let Cat Williams go in on Steve Harvey. Steve Harvey is an A-list celebrity. You can't let Cat Williams go in on Oprah. Oprah is an A-list celebrity. You can't let Monique go in on Oprah and Steve. They're A-list celebrities. Shannon Sharp broke the one rule that is unforgivable by celebrities in show business. You never expose or reveal our privations and Hollywood secrets to the public. Steve Harvey violated that rule. And as a result of that, a lot of celebrities are being told not to interview with Shannon Sharp. A lot of his guests are canceling their interviews because they don't want to get blacklisted by Oprah. Who wants to be on the wrong side of Oprah in Hollywood? Who wants to be on the wrong side of Tyler Perry in Hollywood? Who wants to be on the wrong side of Steve Harvey in Hollywood? And as a result of that, Shannon Sharp, here's what I think. I don't think they could cancel Shannon Sharp. You know why? He's too popular with everyday black people. Johnson argues that this culture of silence is prevalent in Hollywood and that those who attempt to expose the truth often face severe consequences. I don't support it. You don't support it. I don't condone it. You don't condone it but it's everyday business in the music business. Everything Puffy been con con uh, 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 accused of, you don't support it, I don't support it. But guess what? It's everyday business in show business. So clearly, they not going down for that. What Bill Cosby was accused of, it's everyday business in show business. That means what? That means they didn't go down because of that. Because a lot of people do that on a regular basis who themselves were not exposed. There are ongoing theories that powerful individuals in the entertainment industry, including Oprah Winfrey and Sean Diddy Combs, are part of a larger agenda that controls various aspects of the industry. Allegations suggest that these elites wield significant power, enabling them to suppress negative stories or allegations against them. They never came back and said nothing about it. I was like, yo, damn, he still got power like that? Somebody still like him like that? Because you know he was running with Oprah and them. He was running with that whole crew. Weinstein, Oprah, Epstein. He was running with that whole crew. They want to know how we're going to do it. 
how the public is going to take him. Is the public going to uh, let him back in? And the public is not. The public is already canceling him. Some conspiracy theorists believe that this control extends to protecting their image and careers, even in the face of exposure. I just wonder what people are going to say. Because, you know, I know Oprah had so many people on her show dealing with like, I gotta choose my words carefully, man. You two be, boy, they be. But when it's dealing with men and women, you know, y'all know what I'm trying to say. The DV, you'll figure it out. The domestic stuff. Uh, she's had so many people on her channel talk about, I mean, her um, show talk about that. So it's like, <sighs> but y'all already know with Oprah with the whole Maui situation going on that she, she got a lot of backlash for that. It's not like you gotta say, oh, I need to wait to see. You don't need to wait. Everybody in the world done seen that video. And it just goes to show that, I mean, I mean, you could even go like Chris Brown, that situation with him and Rihanna. You know, people still, got him featured in their song. Like people will, they'll they'll forgive, but they won't forget. You know, this dude is working with some powerful people who's probably keeping him out of jail to keep themselves out of jail. Yeah, but we already know how Oprah is. I'm glad, I'm glad this channel be talking about this stuff, man, because I feel like it's important. Some people may not, I do. Appreciate you guys coming over. These theories are often bolstered by incidents where powerful figures appear to evade consequences for their actions, leading to speculation about who is really pulling the strings behind the scenes. Why Why is little Nas X making a Satan shoe and straddling? Who, who is picking these people yeah. and putting them in the most public and, and applauding them and saying, this is great, this is great, this is great. That is a, de a decision that is being made with purpose, yeah. okay? by people that have nefarious intentions. I view the people like Cardi B, Harry Styles, Lil Nas X, those are pawns yeah. in a game that is much bigger and much more twisted than they could possibly understand. In the age of social media, public perception of celebrities like Oprah is increasingly shaped by the content shared online. Platforms like Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok have become spaces where fans and critics alike voice their opinions, often exposing aspects of celebrities that contradict their public perception. Owners. I'm so glad the internet is waking up about this long forehead velociraptor looking ass. I am so tired of Oprah, I really am. All these people in the world got a problem with you and you think you ain't the problem. Even Taraji, even Taraji. I mean, come on. Nobody becomes a billionaire by being ethical, baby. I'm just saying, nobody becomes a billionaire by being ethical. So me seeing Oprah get dragged, I'm like, ooh, hit her again. Ooh, hit her again, hit her again. Especially how she did them people in Maui talking about I'ma pray for you while you got all them acres of land. Give the land back, baby. So anyway, I just been, it's been nice seeing the internet drag Oprah. I know Monique is so happy that the internet is finally waking up about Oprah. Like she gives me the worst vibes ever. And the first red flag was that billionaire shit. That was the first red flag for me. But then she kept having issues with people and people kept talking about their issues with her. And I was just like, ooh. You a real nasty type of woman. Over the years, there have been various claims and controversies regarding guests on The Oprah Winfrey Show. One notable instance was the 1996 Mad Cow Disease episode, where Oprah expressed fears about beef safety, leading to a lawsuit by cattle ranchers. They accused her of defaming the beef industry, though she ultimately won the case. In general, highly criticized for the constant medical and scientific misinformation that was 
platformed and constantly spewed on The Oprah Winfrey Show. Oprah regularly platformed guests who would be promoting products that were not backed by science and guests who had theories that were also not cooperated with scientific information. In 2007, Oprah Winfrey invited Jenny McCarthy onto The Oprah Winfrey Show and Jenny McCarthy was on The Oprah Winfrey Show I think like 12 or 13 times total. Oprah allowed Jenny McCarthy about an hour of airtime to express her theory that she was very confident in that the reason her son was diagnosed with autism was because of the vaccines he had received. I'm here with Jenny McCarthy who's become one of the most vocal advocates for parents of children with autism. Not once did Oprah offer any kind of pushback at Jenny's claims. Though she condemned his actions after the allegations surfaced, some critics questioned the depth of her prior knowledge or involvement. Give medical information, including Dr. Phil, Dr. Oz, specifically Dr. Oz. He was a very unethical individual to have on the Oprah Winfrey show, in my opinion, and his own show is a whole other can of worms, but he was consistently trying to sell different diet pills, miracle weight loss pills that simply did not work. Using your medical degree to sell junk diet pills, in my opinion, is disgusting. This kind of medical misinformation was most certainly not the only kind of misinformation that we would see on the Oprah Winfrey show. We also saw a lot of spiritual manipulation and spiritual misinformation. In 2010, Oprah Winfrey brought on self-proclaimed spiritual healer onto the Oprah Winfrey show named John of God. Oprah has been criticized for her associations with certain figures who later became controversial. For example, she had a well-publicized friendship with Harvey Weinstein, who was later convicted of crimes. Though she condemned his actions after the allegations surfaced, some critics questioned the depth of her prior knowledge or involvement. Let's talk about what's happening with Harvey Weinstein. I know you posted on Facebook already, but you haven't kind of spoken yet publicly mm -hmm. about what's going on. I think that this is is, I'm always trying to look for the rainbow in the cloud, the whatever is the silver lining. And this is what I do know for sure. When something this major happens, when you have the fallout, 50 women coming forward, that it's a watershed moment. And what I do believe is actually happening is that, first of all, it's triggering a lot of unreleased pain, yeah. repressed anger, guilt, and suffering that a lot of women have had. I happened to be on set with several actresses the other day, and we were filming some things, and they were like, they were hadn't slept over a period of two or three days, and I was like, what is that? Mm -hmm. I said, oh, you guys are suffering from PTSD. Mm -hmm. And when you Every, start talking about it out loud, too, we Everybody has a it. story. Everybody yeah. has a story. And so I think this is a watershed <laughs> moment. Also, there have been allegations and rumors suggesting that Oprah Winfrey harbors a bias against rappers and hip-hop culture. These claims often stem from her past interviews and public statements, where she appeared to criticize certain aspects of the genre. Openly talked about subject was that Oprah did not like rappers. And this started her very first beef with 50 Cent. 50 Cent pitched going on Oprah's show and Oprah denied it saying she was not interested in his music whatsoever. And if you know 50, this started a war between him and Oprah. He even named his female dog Oprah. And it didn't stop with 50 Cent. Even Ludacris said that he went through the same things of Oprah denying him being on the show because she didn't like his music. Ice Cube has also publicly spoke about the same exact things going on with Oprah. And a lot of people didn't understand this because she would invite people like Jay-Z and Diddy on her show multiple times. And during this time, a lot of people were really upset about this because they felt like Oprah was such a powerful black woman and she should have been supporting these black men's careers by inviting them on her show. And the controversy about Oprah's show doesn't stop there. I'm sure you guys remember Monique who did an interview earlier this year with Shannon Sharp. And Monique has openly spoke about how Tyler Perry and Oprah blackballed her from Hollywood for years. But that's not all that Oprah did. 
Before Monique and Oprah's relationship fell out, they had a very deep conversation about Monique going through SA by the hands of her brother. Critics argue that her disapproval of the sometimes misogynistic content in rap music reflects a broader disdain for the culture itself. Thinking about the situation about being blackballed by Oprah, things took a crazy turn. Oprah would invite Monique's brother on the show to talk about the SA allegations that Monique shared with her that happened to her by her brother when she was younger. And Monique was devastated that Oprah did something like this to her after Monique was publicly sharing that Oprah blackballed her from Hollywood. That's it for today's video. Stay tuned until next time.